Well, that's Murli Kartikeyan at the beginning of the sixth round, who's impressed by our camera. And there we have Aram Hakobian, one of the leaders of the tournament. Sixth round of the World Junior Championship about to begin. Divya Deshmukh goes to her chair. Here are the pairings of round number six. On board number one, we have Kartikeyan Murli fighting it out with the white pieces against Evgeny Stembuliak. It was a Karo Khan and look at the structure on the king side. You have the block of four pawns over there and the game went into a pawn end game which was agreed to a draw. Although black has an extra pawn, there is absolutely no way to make progress and the players agreed to a draw. On board number two, we had P. Inyan taking on Aram Hakobian. The Armenian GM played some flawless chess to score a full point and join Evgeny Stembuliak in the lead. On board number three, we had Ragunandan KS from Karnataka drawing against Shan Sargisyan. Ragnananda, who was playing with the white pieces, played an excellent game. After a loss in round five, he fought back in admirable fashion and scored a nice win. He's now on four and a half out of six and has good chances for a top finish if he plays well in the last five rounds. As you can see here, the game went into a knight plus rook endgame and Prague managed to convert it well. Leon Mendonza couldn't withstand the pressure of his Spanish higher rated opponent Miguel Ruiz. The opposite colored bishop endgame was clearly in favor of the Spanish GM. Volodair Muzin played a fantastic endgame to beat Arsha Bharat Koti. The young Russian player is surely the find of the tournament. He has already played two wonderful endgames and is something to watch out for. That's time to resign. Ravi Haria played a nice game to beat Amaya Audi. As you can see, there are two queens on the board and this could have been a nice drawing pattern if the queen could give perpetual checks. But there is a king on A2 and therefore here it's Black's turn now to start checking the king. And this is game over. Amaya played a few moves but after this he had to resign. Arvind Chidambaram played a fantastic game to beat Arthur Dautian. Arthur is bronze medalist at the Under-18 World Championship and Arvind showed his class. What a strong 27-2600 GM he is. That's Viktor Gazic who is playing with the white pieces here and he sacrificed an entire rook to launch a deadly attack on his opponent's king. This was a beautiful game against the Dutch and we will have an interview with him on our YouTube channel. So do watch out for that. That's another interesting game where you have a knight on a Rahul VS. In the girls section you have a very very important round on board number one which is Alina Saab Mobina against Volbatar Alten Tuya. In this game it was the Iranian girl who came out on top. She was not so well prepared out of the opening but played the middle game in great style sacrificing material left right and center. As you can see here she's a piece up and she converted the game very easily. She is now on 5.5 out of 6 and has a full point lead over the field except for Polina Shuvalova who is on 5 out of 6. On board number 2 we had Divya Deshmukh who held Stavrola Solakidu, the second seed, to a draw. Polina Shuvalova is back in form and she is now on 5 out of 6. Over here she beat her country woman. Solo Zenkina and here a 
as you can see she finished off the game with queen d8 check rook goes back to e8 and there you have a nice sacrifice coming up can you find it yes of course queen into e8 followed by rook d8 and that is game over on board number 4 we had vaishali and rakshita ravi the two chennai girls the game ended in a draw Arpita Mukherjee showing admirable chess at the World Youth Championship she drew against Saube Baeva Toshali's streak of victory did not continue this time she lost her game to Maria Burdnich Well another big incident that took place was Amin Tabatabai not coming to his round against Israeli opponent or Bronstein this was another Iran versus Israel controversy and here the Israeli player gets a full point Iranian players do not turn up for their games when facing Israel opponents and that has created two walkovers in the tournament Bronstein not very happy with this Three point and Amin Tabatabai is on three out of six. The arbiters removed the name of Amin for the seventh round, but then a subsequent appeal was made and his name was got back into the pairing list only on the condition that if he faces an Israeli opponent in the next round, he must turn up for the game. that's the playing hall over here and we hope that you enjoyed our round 6 highlights it's a rest day coming up next and then we have last 5 rounds to determine who the world junior champions would be here are the results of round 6 as you can see and the standings tembuliak and hakobian leading at the top and you have alina sab mobina as the sole leader in the girls section round 7 pairing is interesting we will see you again tomorrow